Hey everyone, welcome to the Week in Review, your one-stop shop for everything that happened in the NEO ecosystem over the past week. As always, if you appreciate what you're seeing, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button, to leave a comment below, to follow our YouTube feed, or to share this video with friends and family. With that out of the way, let's kick this week off. As it pertains to NEO, we've got three pieces of news. First, NEO has partnered with Palmera to enable multi-signature accounts on NEO X via XSafe. This integration enables NEO X users to access multi-sig account functionality, offering advanced security and collaborative asset management through decentralized signature requirements. Additionally, XSafe was added to the NDAP apps page. Second, BlockSec announced the integration of NEO X into Falcon Explorer its on-chain threat monitoring platform, and Tomo Social integrated support for Neo X into its multi-chain social wallet that's available to Telegram users. The Tomo wallet aims to provide a streamlined, secure, and user-friendly Web3 wallet solution by allowing users to securely access their wallets and manage their assets across different devices. In GrantShare's news, the community funding DAO witnessed the submission of a proposal that seeks to build a fantasy football platform, requesting funding to create a decentralized blockchain-based fantasy soccer league on NeoN3. The app seeks to offer users a way to draft real-life soccer players, build a dream team, and score points as players progress through the season. Head over to grantshares.io to take a peek at the new submission. NDAP released a new series of updates, including the user wallet page and NeoX network statistics, such as total network contracts, addresses, and transactions, which have been added to the main page. Head over to www.ndap.org to see the latest changes. To the Moon added a new post to its Under the Hood series titled Colony Survival, The King APC. This installment looks at the survival mechanics of To the Moon, focusing on player vulnerability, resource management, and strategic gameplay. It highlights systems like the survival refit mode, campfire mechanics, and resting buffs, which integrate a risk-reward decision-making and dynamic interactions with the environment. Central to the design is the modular King APC, a customizable vehicle that serves as a hub for exploration, defense, and tactical adaptability. Head over to the Under the Hood channel on the official Discord server to see the full announcement. Neo News Today released episode 77 of the Smart Economy podcast featuring Munir Benchamled, the founder and CEO of Paraswap, a platform in the decentralized finance landscape. Topics of discussion included the features Paraswap brings to DeFi, token approvals and security, the regulatory landscape of DeFi, hybrid approaches to customer acquisition in DeFi, the future of decentralized exchanges, and so much more. Head over to www.smarteconomypodcast.com to catch the latest episode. Neo News Today co-editor and myself co-hosted Crypto Coffee and Blockchain Beer number 41 on the Smart Economy Podcast X page. Topics of discussion included on-chain sentiment analysis on Neo, the grant share's call about raising awareness of the DAO, the role Bitcoin could have with other blockchain networks, Gary Gensler retiring from the SEC and how it might impact the world, and tips to keep your cool during major market swings. A recording of this space can be found on the official Smart Economy Podcast X page. Also, we will not be hosting a crypto coffee and blockchain beer next Friday, so keep your eyes peeled for the next space, which will be hosted on Friday, December 6th. And that just about wraps up everything that happened in the NEO ecosystem over the past week. If you appreciated this video, please hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, follow our YouTube feed, or share this video with friends and family. And of course, if you're a NEO token holder, please consider voting for NEO News today as your council representative. We've proudly been serving the ecosystem since 2017, and will continue to do so by putting portions of our council rewards directly back into ecosystem growth initiatives. With all that said, we're looking forward to catching you next time.